Hi everybody, I hope you can hear me. I'm back at Patriots Park. I had taken a picture of this, um, this statue that was erected oh, a year and a half ago or so in honor of the 101st Airborne Division um, of the Army. So Fort Campbell is right there across the street. And it goes for miles. It goes, it starts in Kentucky, which is their main address, and it goes into Clarksville, Tennessee. Right now I'm in Clarksville, Tennessee, and this is outside of one of their main gates. So it's a beautiful monument. I wanted to come back during the day so you can get a picture of what it looks like during the day. When I posted the picture I posted, it was in the evening, it was all, they, this lights up. So if you didn't see it lit up, go back through my stuff to see it. It's beautiful. But this was um, erected about a year and a half ago and it's called the Tip of the Spear. It says, always defending our freedom, the 101st Airborne Division is the most potent and tactically mobile air assault division in the U.S. Army, awaiting their next rendezvous with destiny. Um, it was erected in 2022, made possible by Montgomery County. This is the studio that sculpted it. And it's called the tip of the spear. It's to remind soldiers that even though we can't go to war for them, they will always be, we, that, that the army um, and the people left behind will always be here to, to help their families and protect their families back at home. It's beautiful. Look how big it is. I forgot the footage. I think it was like 27 feet high, and that doesn't include the base. So it's way up there in the air. And this park is called Patriots Park, and it's in the middle of the road. So one side of the road is that way, and one side of the road is that way. And it's right in the middle of Fort Campbell Boulevard. Um, and there's other little monuments here. So I'll show you those that are really beautiful, dedicated to all the soldiers, the ones who are missing in actions, the one who has lost, has, have lost their lives, and the Purple Heart recipients as well. So that's the back of the statue. Beautiful, huh? So there's a little walkway up here. Uh, I don't know if this is something about, I don't know where the flower bed is, but I guess it's up, up there. There's a flower bed. Maybe it's, maybe it's behind here. But anyways, we go up here, we will see a beautiful area dedicated to the soldiers as well. And it goes in a circle over here. And there's a little railing you could look out over at the, the spear. See? That must be the flower bed. Okay, and then as you walk through the memorial park here, I'll show you what we see. It's a beautiful little park. It's just a place to come and reflect and thank God for our military and our freedom and remember those who didn't come home, who are prisoners of these wars, or missing in action, Purple Heart recipients, one and all. So, this first monument we come across is gorgeous. I love this statue. Um, it's a soldier holding a child and uh, to me it represents all the soldiers who have families that they leave behind to go serve for our freedom and my two oldest boys were army brats their dad retired from the army as a sergeant I believe and my daughter's current husband was also in the army so this is a military town. This base goes 
from Oak Grove, Kentucky, where I'm at, all the way into Clarksville, Tennessee. Miles and miles. And then here's some um, plaques here dedicated to each of the divisions. This is for the United States Marine Corps. This is for um, the United States Coast Guard. This is for the Department of the Army, the United States Army. This is for the United States Navy. And this is for the United States Air Force. And there's a little cross there as well. And this is the Prisoner of War Missing in Action dedication area with these beautiful little eagles here. You can see up on top of this dedication wall. Just, it's beautiful here. It's just a nice little thing that they did. The eagle is amazing. Um, I did see one more thing, but now I don't know where it's at. Maybe it was down there and I missed it. There was also a pair of boots in bronze. Oh, here. And it's not bronze, but this says a heart of gold. Um, a heart of gold stopped beating. Two shining eyes at rest. God broke our hearts to prove he only takes the best. And there's a pair of boots, a gun, and a soldier's cap. In dedication of those who lost their lives. And there's the POW flag, by the way. Right there, in case you didn't notice. And then that's about it. The rest is a, uh, just a little park you can walk through. I'm going to see something because it looks like there might be something down here as well. No, I think it's just... No, that's just... I didn't know if those white things were. Well, anyway, I was driving past here to go somewhere else. And I said, I'll stop and let everybody see this because I had taken that picture at night of the eagle. And it's beautiful, all lit up at night. And like I said, the army base is right there. You see part of it has a chain link fence. And then starting there is a brick wall all the way down. I mean, it goes on for miles. So thank you to all of our men and women who serve to keep our freedoms free. And that's not just here, that's all around the world. I mean, there's many countries that are just as good as the United States, free and believe in rights for everybody. If it wasn't for these guys, no one would have any of that. So God bless them all and keep them safe, Lord. Just keep them safe. So, this is for the recipients of the Purple Heart. It says, dedicated to all men and women wounded in all of our wars. My stone is red for the blood they shed. The metal I bear is my country's way to show they care. If I could be seen by all mankind, maybe peace will come in my lifetime. I hope so. And then it says, combat veterans wounded. And that's the symbol of the purple heart they receive. When unfortunately they get wounded. Erected by the Department of Tennessee Military Order of the Purple Heart. So that's it guys. I'm going to head out and go finish what I was doing. Hope you liked the video. Um, God bless our troops all over the world. Stay safe. And come back home. In one piece.